Hi, I'm Adam Fletcher, community lead for the Diablo franchise. Uh, I'm joined here by Joe Shelley, who's the game director for uh, Diablo 4. And then I have uh, Joseph Pipora, who's the associate game director of uh, Diablo 4. At the Game Awards, we did reveal the new cinematic yeah. uh, for Diablo 4. It'd be good to help inform the community because I know uh, a lot of people, if you are if you follow Diablo, you know who like Lilith and Anarius are, but then uh, there's a lot of questions related to like, who is Lilith, who is Anarius, how important are they within the Diablo universe? Yeah, so these two antagonists are a central part of the story. As you adventure through the world of Sanctuary, these two founders who do not see eye to eye at this point are a key part of the story that will unwind. Let's take another look at the Anarius and Lilith trailer. Honestly, it's probably one of my most favorite cinematics that you know our SFT team has worked on here it's at incredible. Blizzard. It's incredible. Being able to like, explore Lilith as a character, explore Anarius' characters and like their motivations, kind of what led them to where they are now and why things are blowing up the way they are, yeah, definitely very important to the overall story. Very cool to explore as well. Yeah, so Diablo 4 focuses on the world of Sanctuary and the world itself was created by Inarius and Lilith. The universe of Diablo, there's this eternal conflict between heaven and hell, with the angels on one side and the demons on the other side. And Inarius and Lilith got tired of this and wanted to have a third way, and they created the world of Sanctuary where the humans live, and Diablo 4 takes place. I think the cinematic showcases amazing moments, especially for Inarius. I mean, he's very much, you know, center stage. Uh, for for kind of the first time that people really get to see or experience him in a Diablo game beyond just like the lore, the discussions and so forth. And just seeing his power and what he represents right there was amazing. Yeah, Inarius is a force to be yeah. sure. It's so cool to be able to tell the story in a way that we can have really multifaceted characters that have real motivations, you know, like you were saying, but also be able to represent the raw power of some of these characters like Inarius. Like when you think about the that shot of uh, Inarius' wings, getting to see them over the army, 
Angel Wings have been such a, a beautiful part of Diablo games for a long time. You know, I think back to the scene with Tyrael and the World Stone and how his wings were represented there. The way that they can move. You know, I don't think I, I've seen any other angel wings that are represented quite this way. They're they're just incredible. Yeah, they feel very iconic to our angels in, in Diablo, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And then, of course, they're not just visually cool. They're also functional. Um, <laughs> you can see in the in the the cinematic we just showed he, when he lands, he actually impales a number of fallen off screen. Yeah, with, uh, with his wings. Yeah, this is this is honestly one of my favorite parts where he's just like coming down and the fallen are in awe and his feet landing on the ground and like the amount of impact he has while doing a soft landing mm -hmm. is just insane. You can tell he's got something on his mind. <laughs> he <laughs> clearly has an objective, wants to most definitely go towards it. It's just insane to see the power that's behind him. One of my other favorite moments is the pulse he sends out. Uh, that like completely brightens up how all the fallen are essentially like blinded by it, but it's it's got this unique sound to it. A little bit of fun Diablo lore is that angels in Diablo are beings of light, and the sound and like the, the resonance are all tuned to the crystal arch, and it's almost like you're hearing his unique sound that he actually sends out, which just causes all the fallen to immediately move off and be scared of his power and what he brings. There's so much in regards to the story between Inarius and Lilith, and there's a lot more to reveal that we're gonna be doing here over the next you know, couple months as we lead up to launch, and of course when people jump into the game uh, for the Diablo 4 story, but that cinematic was, was phenomenal for yeah. sure.